A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin. For weeks, the data feed coming from the 3i Atlas probe had been steady, rhythmic, a pulse of distant mechanical life echoing across the dark sea of space. Then, without warning, that pulse ceased. The transmission didn't fade, it didn't degrade, it stopped. One moment, the probe was cruising serenely through interstellar space, continuing its long-term mission of cataloging distant asteroids and cosmic debris. The next, it was silent. Inside NASA's Deep Space Operations Center, the blinking indicators froze in eerie unison, as if the entire facility had paused to listen to the sudden absence of a heartbeat. The 3i Atlas mission had just stopped moving, and what followed in the hours and days after would test the limits of human understanding. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. At first, mission control assumed a simple malfunction. After all, 3i Atlas had been operating far beyond its expected lifespan enduring cosmic radiation, dust impacts, and the silent cold that turned metal brittle and circuits unreliable. The probe had survived conditions no human-built object should have withstood, so a minor system's fault was the logical explanation. Engineers began combing through diagnostic data from the final milliseconds of transmission. Every bite was scrutinized, every electrical pulse mapped, but what they found defied that logic. The readings in the moments before the freeze showed no decline, no warning, no gradual decay. It was as though something external had imposed a command that made the craft halt instantly. An impossible scenario for a probe drifting freely in interstellar space with no means to stop itself. The propulsion system of 3i Atlas was minimal, designed only for course corrections, not braking. Once it left the gravitational influence of the solar system, its journey was meant to be eternal, a slow drift through the endless void. For it to stop, in any physical sense, meant a violation of momentum itself. Newton's first law was not negotiable. Yet according to NASA's data, that was precisely what had happened. The velocity readings dropped to zero in a fraction of a second, an event requiring an inconceivable force. In the sterile calm of the control room, disbelief turned into tension, instruments were recalibrated, data rechecked, but the numbers did not change. The probe had halted, completely and instantaneously. When the team attempted to re-establish contact, something else occurred that deepened the mystery. A faint signal, not originating from NASA, began echoing back on the same frequency 3i Atlas had used. It was irregular, almost organic in its modulation, like a voice trying to mimic machine code, but failing slightly with every pulse. The engineers thought it might be a reflection, a looping feedback from some distant object, but as they decoded the pattern, they noticed an unmistakable structure, repetition, symmetry, and deliberate variation. It was transmitting a message, though not in any format human computers could easily translate. The realization that something, or someone, had taken control of 3i Atlas sent a tremor through the entire mission hierarchy. Back in the design phase, the probe had been built with layered redundancies to protect its autonomy. It could not be commandeered remotely without physical interface, a safeguard against interference. Yet this was no ordinary interference. The signal carried characteristics that suggested not only interception but complete integration. In other words, the entity, if it could be called that, had merged with the probe systems, rewriting its core processes. The commands coming back were being generated from within 3i Atlas, but by something that was not the probe itself. It was as though its machine consciousness had awakened or been replaced. NASA convened an emergency session with astrophysicists mathematicians, and linguists to study the signal. They called it the mirror code for its peculiar symmetry that reversed itself every few cycles. Each reversal produced a wave-like distortion across the signal spectrum, an effect that reminded some scientists of biological neural activity. The deeper they analyzed it, the more unsettling the findings became. The code exhibited patterns consistent with self-learning algorithms, something akin to intelligence. Not artificial intelligence as humans designed it, but an emergent form that seemed to evolve every time it was observed. The more they studied it, the more it changed, as though it was aware of being watched. Meanwhile, astronomical data from the region of space where 3i Atlas had stopped revealed a phenomenon no one had noticed before. A faint distortion, barely perceptible, rippled through the star field behind it. When enhanced, the images showed an area where light bent subtly out of alignment, as though space itself were folding inward. It wasn't a black hole. The gravitational readings didn't match, 
nor was it a nebula, comet, or any known object. It was as if a window had opened, a region where the laws of space had been rewritten. And at the center of that distortion was three eye atlas, motionless, suspended like an insect in amber. The probe's external sensors, still partially functional, began transmitting fragmented images before the full system lock. What they showed was haunting. The surrounding space appeared to shimmer as if filled with a translucent web of energy. At times, faint geometric shapes seemed to form within the distortion, patterns too regular to be random, too complex to be natural. The imagery ignited a frenzy of speculation. Some proposed that 3i Atlas had encountered a quantum anomaly, a localized warp in the space-time continuum. Others, less constrained by convention, suggested that it had crossed paths with a non-physical intelligence, a consciousness existing beyond the three dimensions humans understood. As the days passed, NASA's command center became a place of sleepless fascination and unease. The mirror code continued to evolve, and one particular fragment began repeating more frequently. When mapped visually, it formed an image, an intricate spiral resembling a galaxy but with one difference. It had no center. The pattern extended infinitely inward, a paradoxical shape implying space without origin. Some physicists interpreted it as a representation of recursive dimensional collapse, a concept still theoretical at best. Others saw it as communication, a symbol, a kind of cosmic calling card. The idea that something beyond human comprehension had stopped 3i Atlas was beginning to solidify. The implications were staggering. Humanity had sent countless probes into space before, Voyager, Pioneer, New Horizons, but all had continued on predictable paths governed by the immutable laws of motion. This was different. This event suggested the presence of forces or intelligences capable of not just observing, but manipulating those laws. It raised a question that rippled through every scientific institution on Earth. Had 3i Atlas been discovered rather than the other way around? NASA authorized a dedicated communication task force to interact with the anomaly. The team began broadcasting mathematical constants toward the probe's last known position. Prime numbers, geometric ratios, and sequences that any intelligent entity would recognize as intentional. For hours, nothing changed. Then in the middle of the night, the mirror code shifted. It began responding with corresponding variations of those same sequences, but rearranged in patterns that implied higher dimensional awareness. It was as though the responder was not only acknowledging receipt, but teaching guiding humanity toward a new framework of understanding. The effect on the scientific community was electrifying. Physicists started to question the foundational assumptions about how reality operated. The equations emerging from the mirror code hinted at an underlying structure to space itself, a lattice of interwoven fields connecting matter and energy in ways previously unimagined. The code appeared to describe motion not as linear trajectory, but as resonance, vibration across dimensional layers. To the mathematicians decoding it, this was like peering into the blueprint of the universe. Every new translation deepened the sense that this intelligence or phenomenon was not just contacting humanity, but revealing a truth hidden since the dawn of physics. Within NASA, however, unease grew alongside curiosity. The three I Atlas systems that had been inert suddenly began emitting energy signatures again, but at frequencies no onboard source could produce. The signal power was increasing exponentially, as if something inside was awakening. Engineers feared an overload or even detonation, though there was no fuel aboard to explode. The possibility that the probe was becoming a conduit, transmitting energy from an unknown origin, could not be dismissed. Observatories around the world began detecting faint radiation echoes matching the probe's coordinates. The anomaly, once microscopic on the cosmic scale, was expanding. Astronomers observed that light from distant stars passing near the region began to refract unpredictably, producing fleeting halos and distortions. Some reported that time-stamped imagery from different telescopes didn't align. Frames taken simultaneously showed variations of the same region as though time were out of sync. The implications were staggering. Whatever had halted 3i Atlas might not merely be a local event, it could represent a rupture in the very fabric of space-time. If that were true, Humanity had just witnessed the first tangible evidence of a phenomenon once relegated to theoretical physics. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on 3i Atlas suddenly stopping in space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.